Now let's step back a minute and think a little bit more about CSV. We've talked about the fact that fields are delimited by commas. So what happens if we have a field that actually has a comma in it, like for example this one? This particular Beatles album was released on two different labels, one in New Zealand and one in the US, so the way this data set has been set up, those two different labels are simply separated by a comma here. Now, based on what we know so far about CSV, or I should say what we've discussed so far in the class about CSV, this would cause a problem for us because our parser would interpret this as a field separator. Now, the way that the CSV format actually handles this, or the way that most applications that deal with CSV format actually handle this, is to do something like the following. So you can see here that this is the field in this actual CSV file. Over here, what I've done is simply load it inside a Google Sheet. But here's the raw CSV file. And you can see that the way this has been structured is for this particular line, this field has been enclosed in quotes. Okay, so what that does is indicates that you can ignore field delimiters from here to here. So we've got some choices in terms of what we use for quotes. You could use double quotes or you could use single quotes. Well, that would cause problems in other ways. You can see here that we have this quote character here, single quote here. There's also one here which is actually used as an apostrophe for Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. So it would be extremely tedious if in our Python programs we had to deal with all of these different variations and exceptions. And the fact is that though we call it CSV or comma separated values, you can really use any delimiter you want here as long as that character is only used for uh, a field delimiter in rows in our data set. So as so often is the case in software development, this problem has been abstracted away and solved for all of the different variations, the tedious details that we might have to deal with in order to work with a format like CSV that has so many variations and asterisks, as my friend Will Cross is fond of saying. This is the Python CSV module. This module deals with CSV formats in a pretty complete way. So let's look at how we use this module. Now, what I'm actually gonna do here is use the dict reader class from this module this assumes that what we want to do is read all of our data into dictionaries, which is what we've been doing all along and what we'll kind of continue to do throughout the rest of the course. But it has some other pretty cool features as well. For example, it assumes that the first row of whatever file we're going to read is actually a header row and that those are the names we want to use for fields. So going back to our CSV file, if I scroll up to the top, we can see that this first row here is actually all of the field labels that we would like for the columns in this data set or the fields in this data set. So what this dictionary reader will do for us is as it reads in rows, it will create a dictionary for each row. The field names will be whatever it found in that first row and it remembers them as we read through the data file. And the values then will in turn be each of the associated values on each line of the file. And again, it also handles things like dealing with quote characters, dealing with quoted fields that may have commas inside of them, and so on. We don't have to worry about that at all using the CSV module. Okay, so let's take a look at the rest of this code. Essentially, we're just opening up the data file. We're instantiating a dict reader from the CSV module, and then we're simply looping through. Each time through here, this class is going to produce a line for us, and that line will actually be a dictionary composed of the appropriate fields for that particular line. So then if we scroll down, what I'm gonna do here is simply print out all of those values. Okay, so let's take a look at running this piece of code. And again, remember we're using the CSV module. Okay, so if we run this, the output we get, we'll just look at the second to last one here, is a dictionary composed of each of the labels that came out from the first line of this file and the field value for each one of the fields for this particular row from the data file. Okay, and this seamlessly handles for us fields that may be quoted on a particular line and other nuances that we might see in the CSV format and conveniently stuffs everything into individual dictionaries for us. So whenever you're working with CSV files in Python, it's best to use the CSV module because so many of the challenges of working with this type of data have already been solved for us.